ASCO 2023, we heard the results of the Mirasol trial. This is a practice-changing trial and the first study to show uh, overall survival benefit in patients with platinum-resistant ovarian cancer using a novel targeted agent. So the Mirasol trial is a randomized phase three trial involving 450 patients that randomized between the antibody drug conjugate Mervatuximab versus investigator's choice chemotherapy in patients with platinum-resistant advanced epithelial ovarian cancer. Mervatoximab is an antibody drug conjugate targeting the folate receptor alpha, and it's linked by a cleaver to a highly toxic uh, microtubular cytotoxic, cytotoxic payload. It's effective in patients who have folate receptor alpha positive ovarian cancer. So the majority of ovarian cancers do express folate receptor alpha, but this trial was particularly looking at those with high folate receptor alpha expression, which probably accounts for between 30 and 40 percent of all platinum resistant ovarian cancer patients. So the Mirasol trial was a randomized phase three trial involving just over 450 patients. It was a worldwide trial and it enrolled patients who had platinum resistant ovarian cancer who'd had one to three prior lines of chemotherapy. They had to have high folate receptor alpha uh, expression and prior bevacizumab use was allowed, but it wasn't mandated. Patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive either the mervatoximab, which is given intravenously every three weeks, or investigator's choice chemotherapy, namely weekly patlitaxel, pegylated liposoma doxorubicin, or topotecan. The patient population is really typical for what we see with advanced ovarian cancer. Um, the majority of patients, 46%, had had three prior lines of therapy. About 60% of patients had had prior bevacizumab. And as you would expect, the, the features were well matched between arms. Now, in terms of the primary endpoint, that was progression-free survival. There was a significant improvement in progression-free survival with a hazard ratio of 0.65. That means a 35% reduction in the risk of progression, increasing the median progression-free survival from 3.98 months with the standard chemotherapy to 5.62 months. The second drain point was overall response rate, and there was a significant increase in overall response rate from 16% with the standard chemotherapy to 42% with the mervatuximab. So more than doubling of the response rate with an odds ratio of 3.81, and importantly, 12 patients or 5% of the patients treated with imervatoximab had a complete response, radiological response to treatment. Finally, the overall survival data was presented and there was a significant improvement in overall survival with a hazard ratio of 0.67, an increase of almost four months in overall survival from 12.75 to 16.46 months. So just to reiterate, this is one of the, the first trials to show a positive overall survival benefit in the platinum resistant patient population, which is historically very difficult to treat. So this truly is a practice changing study. Moving on to the safety, um, the, the mervatoximab drug was very well tolerated. There were lower rates of um, grade three adverse events, serious adverse events, and patients discontinuing treatment because of adverse events in the mervatoximab arm versus the standard chemotherapy. There were far fewer hematological toxicity, but interestingly, with what we know with the mervatoximab is there was more ocular toxicity, namely dry eyes, uh, keratitis and blurred vision. However, the majority of these were actually very low grade and they're managed with supportive medication, regular eye drops, ophthalmic review, etc. And only a couple of patients had to discontinue treatment because of the ocular toxicity. So overall, a very favourable safety profile. In conclusion, um, the uh, Mirasol trial um, met its primary endpoint very good evidence of efficacy, statistically significant improvement in progression-free survival, improvement in overall survival, and a very manageable safety profile. This means that mervatoximab should become established as standard of care for patients with platinum-resistant ovarian cancer.